you can escape from me, little one. So, how's the air conditioning, Hawkeye? Still working? It's working great, thanks for the help. I owe you one, Audie. Yeah, about that. I'm glad it's up and running again, but you promised you'd start training me if I fixed it, remember? So, what do you say? You know, I've noticed the screen on my television's a little grainy lately. Can you look at that, too? Only if you keep your promise to me. And this time, you have to really mean it. No take-backs. I'm sure I'll be able to fit it in soon. Besides, you only recently became a future Avenger. You've got plenty of time for training. What's the big rush? Well... All the fighting I've done with villains lately has me second-guessing things. I need to get much stronger to be able to do my part. You know, like Iron Man and Makoto, so everyone can depend on me. Uh, hey, wait up! Was there something else on your mind, Audie? Huh? Oh. Hey, are you okay? Where'd you come from, little guy? Who would put a metal suit on a cat? You just take it easy. I'll take care of you. We'll get you fixed up. So are you hungry? You want some to eat? You got it. A sandwich and a bottle and a half of orange juice. Not exactly the best food options for a cat. Okay then, wait here. You want this? I know the pictures are cute and all. But this is cat food, you know, like for cats. Look, I know what it is and what it's for, okay? Just ring it up already, I'm in a hurry. I just never pegged you as a cat person. Well, you never know. I'm full of surprises. Okay, eat. What's wrong? Not feeling hungry? Mm. Come on, little guy, you gotta eat something. Were you at Hawkeye's place again today? Did he have something else broken he wanted you to fix? Yeah, something like that, I guess. I don't understand why he doesn't just get a regular repairman to work on that stuff. Oh. A transmission! Mm -hmm. A cat, huh? Uh, what's wrong with it? I found him lying on my front door. Someone put metal armor on the poor thing. Can't get him to eat. It looks to me like it's injured. We should tend to that first. Do you have any antiseptics and bandages? Yeah, I should. Just a sec. Everything I'm finding says cats are very particular about their food. Maybe you're using the wrong kind of milk. It says here that you can buy milk that's special made for cats. Man, who knew cats could be so high maintenance? All right then, I'll get some. Be right back. Twice in one day? That cat you're feeding must have quite the appetite. The opposite, actually. But this cat milk should do the trick. Well, he's got his appetite back. Yeah, whatever. So you gonna keep the cat or what? Nah, it's out of here the second it gets healthy. I'm bad enough with humans, let alone animals. I see. Ever had a cat before? Of course not. Why do you think I asked for your help with the little guy? 
I can stop by every so often to help you out. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm lost when it comes to this stuff. No problem. On the condition that you agree to oversee my training, just like you promised you would. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you're on your own. You'll have to take care of the cat all by yourself. All right, it's a deal. <laughs> I figured you'd come around. What's all this? The cat was wearing that stuff when I found him. I've never seen components like this. I wonder what they're for. No idea. Who'd dress up a cat? Interesting little mystery. I'll take it to Mr. Stark to check it out. Whoa, 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 hold on. Mm -hmm. There's no need to tell Iron Man and the other Avengers about this. Uh, why not? Like I told you before, I haven't had the best history taking care of animals, and those guys tease me relentlessly. Did you actually flood your house giving the dog a bath? What a mess! You kept a raccoon in your bedroom? That's hilarious! You got bit by a goldfish in a fishbowl? Bucked off your steed again. Maybe you should be in a cage. Ha 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 ha. Real funny. So I don't want them to think I can't take care of a cat. Hey man, I think you're blowing this way out of proportion. No, I'm right about this. I'm positive. Listen, whatever kind of special training or one-on-one -on -one time you want, you got it, okay? Just remember, the kitten stays between you and me, understand? Yeah, sure, got it. Hey, Audie. Going somewhere? Uh-huh. Won't be long. Does Hawkeye need you to swing by and fix his dishwasher? Yeah, something like that. Okay, see you later. Hang on. You haven't eaten breakfast yet. He's been taking off like that without saying much every morning. I wonder what's going on. Hawkeye, you no, home? Stop! Huh? Huh? This place is a mess. I give up. I just can't seem to handle this little guy. I'm sure he's a bit of a handful. But if you don't take care of him, then who will? Please just get him out of here, will ya? You can't just throw the poor thing out. Come on, uh, come here. Yeah, he's too gentle to be that much trouble. I thought the exact same thing at first. But before you got here, I was reading the newspaper when he suddenly went bonkers. Why would he go crazy like that? What's wrong with you? Come on, pick up the pace. Uh, okay. You were the one who asked me to train you, remember? You need to be ready for anything I throw at you. I know, I know. Huh? That's your way of rooting for me? Why does he like you so much more than me? <laughs> Fine, whatever. <sighs> so, uh, all this training we're doing, all this running, how will it help me be a better hero? What do you mean by that? I thought being a superhero required some kind of special training, you know? Uh, something beyond the basics. Everyone's got their own way of training, but this is the way I've always done it. It works for me, and that's that. That reminds me, I've been meaning to ask, why'd you pick me for the job? Huh? If you want to train, there are other heroes you could ask. Some have even been teachers before. You said you did some sort of special regimen with Iron Fist in the past, <sighs> right? I chose you because you're not like the other heroes. You don't have any special powers that help you as a fighter. That's true. I can't fly and I don't have super strength or anything. I don't use a magic hammer or a giant mixing bowl as a shield. And I don't wear any crazy high-tech armor. I'm really just an ordinary man. Right. I know all that. That's why I wanted to train with you. Mm -hmm. Look at me. My technical act isn't a battle skill either. I can develop it, but if I'm actually gonna hold my own, I need to strengthen my body and my mind. Huh. Well, that makes sense. Now hurry up and eat. We're not done by a long shot. Right. Come on, not again. Take it easy. Why are you freaking out? Listen, if you don't learn to chill out, 
I'm going to have to make a change. That's good, but it still isn't enough. I'm going to have to collect more samples. you asked for it. I've had just about all I can take of you, Fleabag. Remember what I said? If you don't learn to chill, I'm gonna have to make a change. There. Beat it and don't come back. Hmm? What? Got something to say? Are these little outbursts supposed to mean something? Well, too bad, because I don't speak cat. Oh, but I tell you what. If there's something I can do to help you out, I'll give it a shot. But you gotta promise, no more going crazy, okay? And no more knocking food over and making a mess. <laughs> Look at me having a serious conversation with a cat. Take care. Mm -hmm. Do you actually understand what I just said? Good enough for me. <laughs> Keep up with me, Audie. Right. Looks like Slingshot's rooting for you, too. Wait, who's Slingshot? The cat. He's got to have a name, right? Yeah, that's a great name. It suits his personality perfectly. <sighs> Dinner! Ugh. Wait, those look familiar. They should. They're the parts that were on Slingshot. I had Friday do an analysis on them. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Stark and the others know nothing about it. So, did you learn anything? Yeah. What's up, Friday? Have you got an update on the analysis? As a matter of fact, I do. It has been completed. I was able to reproduce the entire object. Is that what I... So it really is cat armor. Who'd want to do something like that? We don't know exactly. But using the information from Friday's findings, I was able to reproduce some armor of my own. Slingshot, come here for a second. All right, activate. <laughs> Uh, you might need to adjust its power output a little. I think you're right. Hmm. Nice, Slingshot. I think you're starting to get the hang of that armor. And now the local news. In recent days, there has been an increasing number of reports of animals of all kinds, including cats and dogs, disappearing all over town. This strange phenomenon has seemingly affected nearly every pet owner we've interviewed. With no clear leads, authorities are turning to the public and seek of help. If you have any information, please contact your local police department. What is it, Slingshot? Does that news report bother you? Or... Whoa, 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 take it easy. Keep it together. I told you I'd help. I'm on your side, remember? Those missing animals. Did something like that happen to you? Breaking news. Our investigative team has received calls from numerous witnesses in neighborhoods all across town who've reported seeing someone in a strange black van taking dogs and cats. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Slingshot, wait! Something wrong, Hawkeye? 
Yeah, listen. Slingshot just freaked out on me and then flew out the window. He did what? Is there some way to track down his whereabouts through that armor you made him? Just give me a second. Found him. It looks like he's headed towards an old drainage system. But why would he go to a place like that? All right. I'm heading there now. I'm coming too. You are the ultimate conception of my research. Yes. Yeah, you're that annoying cat that ran off the other day. Such incredible power. How is this possible? Did someone tamper with the armor I devised? Well, no matter. Your opponent will make quick work of you. There's a story going around about animals in this area disappearing. You heard about it? Yeah, I saw it on the news. Kind of creepy, huh? Sure is. Not sure how, but I think Slingshot's connected to those incidents. And all those times when he went crazy tearing things up, he was actually trying to tell us what was going on. We need to step on it. Right. <laughs> Annoying feline a lesson. Never betray me. <laughs> what? Who did that? You held that thing off on your own? Way to go, Slingshot. I've seen you two before. You're Avengers. Mad Inventor. I think I get it now. The animals that have gone missing in town. They were all abducted and brought down here. That makes sense. He's done this before. He does DNA experiments. Last time, it was with an alligator. Hmm. So this time, you decided to round up small animals for your crazy plan. Yes, exactly. Dogs, cats, and even rats are much easier to acquire and handle than an alligator. Far more convenient. So he abducted you. But you managed to escape before he experimented on you. After that, you wandered around until you found your way to my apartment. I didn't even bother to pursue him, but the ungrateful beast came sneaking back to my lab. Stupid, cowardly cat. No, you're wrong. He's not a coward. Slingshot came back because he wanted this to be his fight. Instead of relying on others for help, he wanted to become strong on his own, to stop your evil plan. That's why he came back. Hmm. That twisted logic makes no sense at all! Well, no matter. My greatest creation will put an end to all of you! Get them! <laughs> A little damage means nothing! That armor protects him! Oh yeah? Then that armor has to go! Adi! He's so strong! Time for technical act! You all right, kid? Yeah, just a little dizzy. Maybe that strength training actually paid off. What did I tell you? I figured something out. I know his weakness. Aim for those three pegs at the center of its back. That device controls all of its movements. Destroy it, and he's finished. Way to go, thanks. <laughs> How's that? Hard to fight when you can't see. You can see just fine, though, and they don't know where you are. So put a stop to them once and for all! What do we do? Don't panic. The bird's right about one thing. We humans can't see well in the dark. However, slingshot. <laughs> right. 
right there. Huh? Wait! What happened? What is going on? Just like rats, cats can see just fine in the darkness. Uh, However, birds can't uh, see a thing in the dark. So I'd say uh, you're the one in a bind uh, right now. Uh, no! How could this happen? Uh, 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 okay, Slingshot. I think it's about time to wrap this up. No, stop it! Don't do it! I said stop! I'm sorry! It's all thanks to Hawkeye. He's been training me recently. It's really helped me a lot. That's cool. Hawkeye's got real skills. Hey, Adi. Ask Hawkeye if he'll train me, too. Aw, oh, come on, guys. Give me a break. Oh, yeah. By the way, Hawkeye... Oh, so the rumor's true? You're the proud papa of a little kitty? Seriously? That's like the cutest thing ever! Adorable! Do you miss your little kitty when you're not home? Never pegged you as the pet type. They're perfect together. <laughs> Adi! I specifically told you not to tell them! Sorry, it just slipped out. <laughs> Do you like to draw? Because our next adventure features a kid whose drawings are unbelievably good. But he doesn't draw people, scenery, or anything like that. This young man draws the most incredible kaiju. And when a colossal monster suddenly appears in town, the Avengers must search for clues to solve the case while discovering whom this young boy with a sketchbook really is. Next time on Marvel Future Avengers, the boy who draws monsters. Catch the future, Avengers!